Hi everyone, Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Uh, thank you for joining me for Simply Sketched Saturday. I belong to a group of Stamping Up demonstrators and we take it in turns to set a sketch challenge for our regular blog hop and we all make something based on a sketch and then we link to each other's blogs so you just start at one and then you just hop on to the next until you've visited us all. Now if you want to check out the blog hop click the link in the more information blocks below and that will take you to my blog and from there you can work your way around the hop you can go forwards or backwards uh, however whatever pleases you so the sketch that we're working from uh, this week has been set by Louise and this is it I've got it on my tablet this time let me just tilt that so that it's excuse me there we go so you can see that so that is the that is the way that the sketch has been set and I'm going to be honest I'm struggling a bit with this one so stay with me and let's see what I come up with the thing about working from a sketch is that it's a starting point it's something to give you an idea and I'm going to take that sketch and I'm going to manipulate it a little bit uh, so I'm going to take that band that was at the top and I'm going to put it at the bottom and I'm I've got a kind of seaside nautical kind of theme in mind so I've got a piece of Pacific Point which is I think it's about three and a half inches by about five but it's big enough to go along the bottom of my card is the main thing okay and I've got my one and three eighths of an inch circle punch I'm going to make some waves so I'm going to start by cutting out a half circle along the end and push now I'm going to push the punch in as far as it will go okay and punch and I'm, I'm going to slide my card along until I've got a little tiny tiny bit can you see that there just a tiny little sliver Oops. left in the corner and again I'm going to make sure I'm my papers in as far as it will go and punch. And again. And again. And one last time just to finish it off. And I can save those for something else. But I have some waves. I'm using the layering circles framelets and I've got a square of whisper white card which is I think I'm think it's two and three quarter inches square and I've got a scrap of real red card. I'm going to start with the whisper white and I'm going to use the not the smallest of the circles but the next one up and I'm going to skip one and I'm going to take that one just for a moment and so just push push those on one side because I shall want them again shortly now I'm trying to align these so that they are they are centered because I want concentric circles I want a sort of a donut shape okay am I happy with that reasonably okay so I've got some uh, low tack tape I'm just pushing that on there as handles and I'm just turning that over and checking that it is looking pretty concentric and that is not too bad so I'm just tacking that down and I'm going to take that over to my big shot and cut it out I'll be right back here's my donut Moment of truth. Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my real red and I'm using the same center, but I am going to use the next size up of circle. So I want that to be just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. Is that the one I want? Let me just check. I think that's the one that I just cut out. Yeah. So 
the next one larger is going to be this one. So I'm going to do the same thing, centre them up, I'm going to run it through my Sizzix, through my big shot, and I shall be back again in a second. Right, I'm going to cut into the red piece and I'm going to cut four kind of chunks out of it. So I'm going to cut a kind of curving shape and just kind of following that round because I want I want it to look as though it's it's round and as though it's going over a curved piece. So I'm going to take that one and that's going to be my template. And now I'm going to cut three more. There you go. So I don't need the rest of that. I can put that away. So now I've got my white donut and I've got my four pieces that I cut out of the real red and I'm going to do some sponging so I've got crumb cake ink and I'm going to get my crumb cake dauber I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to some of it off on a bit of paper tissue because I don't want this too strong and I'm just going to start just inking very very lightly around the outside of the donut just to give it some shape. on one side for a while and I'm also going to sponge the edges of the pieces that I just cut out. And there we go. How's that looking? Actually, now I've done that. Do you think I should? Yes, I'm going to sponge these pieces as well. I'm having a bit of sponge mania at the moment. Oops, my phone needs charging. There we go. Now I'm going to assemble those pieces. So I'm going to put a little bit of wet glue just in the centre of first of my red pieces and this is going to go, I'm going to arrange these now, north, south, east, west and I'm lining up that curve with the centre because if you remember centre, the centre circle was the same size. So that's my, woo. Okay, maybe a spot more wet glue would be in order. Just want to make sure it doesn't ooze out. Okay, so that's one. So turn that over. Two going on now. North, south. And then the last two. Come on, that's the way. And there we are. 
So that is supposed to look like a life preserver. What do you think? I want to spell out a suitably seafaring message on my card and to do that I'm going to use this stamp set, it's called Label Alphabet and you get lots and lots of letters on this one, uh, not just one letter of each which is absolutely great, it's one of the things I like about it and it is photopolymer so you can see what you're doing um, but I want to uh, plan this out before I actually stick it on my block so I'm going to be using the tweezers to help me and I'm putting putting them down with the backs up towards me and I'm not too bothered about um, keeping them in line because I want them to be kind of you know sort of look like they're rocking back and forth so A B C D E F G H so there's my H and I think I wanted to say ahoy matey with a hoy I'm just gonna my block and press that down and just pick that up okay. and let's have where's it gone it is so I have my piece of Whisper White, which I'm going to cut to size afterwards. So I've got real red ink. I just realised my mouse is in shot, so I'm just going to move that. And very lightly inking up my stamp, and I'm just going to plonk that down where I want it and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five and I'm happy with that. Right, so now I'm going to do the same for matey. Nearly finished. So here is my sentiment, my ahoy matey and I've cut it down so that it is one inch wide. I've got my triple banner punch and I'm just going to slide that I can put it that way just in case I haven't left myself enough. Yeah, that's fine. Just going to slide that in to the channel, flip, instant flag, and sponge the edges so that it all kind of fits in and looks weathered and beaten. Okay. So here is my base card um, and I've got a bit of soft sky which I've cut I think it's half an inch smaller than my base card and guess what I've gone around and I've sponged all the edges um, so I can start assembling that uh, put my waves on a bit of snail here Oh, actually, no, I've got one more thing. I have a post, which is a bit of crumb cake. It's half an inch wide, and guess what? Sponged it. So I'm going to put that on first. And I'm going to put it uh, leaning at a, a rather jaunty angle. And now I can put my waves on. There we go. And my flag. Popping out of the water there. Right, now I'm going to do one more thing to this before I finally put it onto my card. And I have got some extra thick. Baker's twine here in Whisper White. 
So I'm going to cut myself off a nice length of it. And I've got fast fuse. And I'm just going to put a bit of fast fuse on the back there. And I'm just going to run a loop. Okay, just stop that because the phone rang. Uh, so let's get back to where I was. So I'm putting fast fuse on each of these, uh, just behind each of the, the bits of real red, as I can see I'm poking out. Eh? And I'm just looping this around and I'm just leaving you know, a, a bit kind of arching out around where my real red bits are. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Come on, fuse, work. I think I'm coming to the end of my... I am actually coming to the end of my fast fuse. So it just lasted long enough just to finish this. That was a stroke of luck. I have got I have got a refill, but really I didn't want to be mucking about with changing that right now. Not that it's difficult. I mean the car cartridge just kind of pulls apart, and you just replace that bit. So I should be doing that very shortly. Okay, skizzles. Chop off my end there. And there you go, so just that slightly. And there you are. Okay, so I'm going to attach that with some dimensionals because I haven't used dimensionals in this project so far. And I can. Some wonderful, wonderful things. Stay. Just flick the backs off. And how do I want this to to be now? I think I should think I shall have it kind of like like that. And there we are, I'm done. So there it is, all finished. And if I bring back the original sketch, which was like that. Well, I've taken a few liberties, but I think I've got most of the elements there. What do you think? Let me know, leave me a comment. And don't forget to visit my blog. Details are underneath the screen. And don't forget to work your way around the blog hop and see what the rest of the team have come up with. But for now, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.